Did you know your tears have three layers? It's not just water floating around there willy-nilly. The components of the tears and the balance of the layers has to be optimal in order to keep your eyes moisturized, healthy, and comfortable. First, the innermost layer is made up of mostly mucin secreted by the goblet cells in the conjunctiva. That's the clear tissue that rests on top of the eye's white shell, the sclera. Mucin is a mucousy glycoprotein that helps the tears stick to the eye's surface. The middle aqueous layer has many components. It's mostly water with electrolytes, proteins, immune factors, and nutrients like glucose and oxygen. This layer is produced by the lacrimal glands located under the outer part of our eyebrow. It makes up the bulk of the tear volume and is what nourishes our eyes and keeps them feeling moisturized. The outer lipid layer of the tears is made up of oil called mybum, secreted by the meibomian glands that line the lower and upper eyelids. This layer slows down tear evaporation. Without a sufficient lipid layer, you may feel like you have to blink every few seconds to prevent that dry, stinging feeling. Depending on which layer of the tears are affected, someone might have aqueous deficient dry eye or evaporative dry eye, but many people have a combination of the two. There are many causes of dry eye, but the main culprit is inflammation, and figuring out what the exact causes are can make a big difference in the treatment plan. Pinpointing which type of dry eye is present and what specifically is causing it could make a big difference in treating dry eye. 